Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series on introduction to Scilab software and this is video part 21 where we are going to solve question set 18. In this video we are going to plot the two dimensional graph but before that we are going to declare the given function for which we have to plot the graph by using def command. In the previous videos we have learned how to define a function using the def command. The function is of one variable so two single quotes comma two single quotes then in the first one you are going to write y is equal to the name of the function is f let us take it as f and then here e raised to minus 0.4x so we are going to write y equal to e raised to that means exponential function is there minus 0.4 star x into sin x so for sin x we have this command so this way we have defined the function now let us give the range x the range is 0 to 4 pi you can write 0 0 0.1 and the 4 pi so for 4 pi we can write 4 star percent pi and if you if you don't want to display so this is the range for the function x now since we have plotted the uh, we have defined the function as f we have to use the command f plot 2d not only the plot 2d where x is this and in place of the function itself we are going to write the f so f is the name of the function for which we have to plot the graph so this is the graph of the function e raised to minus 0.4x into sin x. Let us clear this and this as well. Now the next is, let us give the range first. Minus 5, 0 0.1, you can take 0 0.2 or you can take 0 0.05 and till 5, let us put the semicolon. And now let us define the function using def command. What is the function? Two, semico uh, two quotes, comma, two quotes. Then in the first, you are going to write y is equal to, you can take g of x. Since the name of the function is not given, you can take any of your choice. Then here you have to write y equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square and then multiplied with sin x. So for defining it, we have to use the bracket. 1 upon 1 plus x square means x cap 2 and then we have to multiply it by sine of x. So the whole quantity 1 upon 1 plus x square is in the bracket and then we have multiplied it by the sine x function. So this way now the command is plot f plot 2d we have to take. Now what is the independent variable that is x and what is the name of the function it is g. So we are going to write f plot 2d x comma g. So this is the graph of the function. Let us take the next one. The range of the function is minus 5 pi that means percent pi colon 0 0.1 colon plus 5 star percent pi semicolon minus 5 pi to plus 5 pi. Let us define the function using the def command. This time we can take y is equal to h of x as the function. The name of the function is h in this case. And the next you will write y is equal to the function is minus x sin x. So we can write minus x star sin into bracket x. So this is the function. Now f plot 2d and then 
x comma name of the function is h so very interesting graph we have of minus x sin x let us do the next one x square sine 1 by x here we are practicing the def command as well 1 to pi the range of the x is 1 to pi 0 0.05 i'll take and then it is still pi means percent pi we are going to use let this put the semicolon then we have to define the function using the def command let us use the variable f again y is equal to f of x and then y is equal to x square sine into bracket 1 by x so let us write x square first then into sine in the bracket we have to write 1 by 1 by x so this is x square sine 1 by x and name of the function is f of x so f plot 2d and x comma f is the name of the function for this particular question there is a correction in the question in which it is sine of x so let us take it as sine of x and the x comma f so this is the graph of the function x square sine x we don't have sine 1 by x so the next one is log of x square let us take the range of the x as 1 to 10 1 0 0.5 0, 5 if you want and then you take till 10 then the def command comma this log so y is equal to f of x we have taken again and then we have y equal to log into bracket x star x so this is log of 1 is 0 so we will be maybe very close to uh, 0 in this so let us continue with this let us see what happens or otherwise we are going to change the range since log of 1 is 0 so no problem log of x square and there is one more thing here plus sine x so let us see plus sine into bracket x and the command f plot to d x comma f let us see the function yes it starts with the sine since log of 1 is 0 it starts with the 0 and then we get the function now this way we have completed the two dimensional graph using the def command or without the def command for the basic functions in Scilab. Now what we can do in the next lecture, we are going to plot the three-dimensional graph. Thank you so much.